Wherever you are, I hope you are well, Natural Disasters on the Event Channel, welcome. Tragedy strikes Beijing, 20 dead and 27 missing in unrelenting floods. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, the Chinese capital of Beijing has been plunged into chaos and despair. Unforeseen torrents of rain, like the wrath of an angry deity, have left 20 souls lifeless and 27 others lost in the relentless deluge. This unforgiving calamity has shattered the tranquility of a city that basks in a serene, arid climate. State media's harrowing report brings forth the extent of the devastation. Heavy rains, the likes of which haven't been witnessed in years, have mercilessly swept away dreams and lives alike. The tempestuous storm, born from the remnants of Typhoon Doksuri, spared no mercy as it unleashed its fury upon the northern lands of China. As if a celestial tap had been unleashed, Beijing was drenched in a staggering 10.2 inches of rain within days, leaving its citizens bewildered and helpless. Unimaginable, as this amount usually blesses their skies for an entire month of July. A dismal record of 29 inches was noted at a reservoir in the city's Chongping district, leaving a testament to the relentless wrath of the heavens. This deluge of despair took its toll on both Beijing and the surrounding province of Hebei. The toll of the fallen stood at 11 lives lost within Beijing and 9 more in Hebei, their fate sealed by nature's cruel hand. Moreover, 27 souls are missing in Beijing, with an additional 6 swallowed by the wrathful waters in Hebei. Mentugu, a once serene suburb, now stands as a desolate witness to this ruthless catastrophe. Streets, once vibrant with life, now lie submerged beneath a tumultuous mix of water, mud, and forest debris. The mountains, once protectors, now turned traitors, unleashed their treachery upon the city. Abandoned vehicles lay scattered amidst the chaos, a painful reminder of the fleeting nature of man-made creations. The ever-flowing Yongding River, once a source of life, now engorged with muddied brown waters, claims cars as its unwilling sacrifice. The debris-riddled waters mirror the anguish and devastation etched upon the faces of the people who, struggling to move, find their lives trapped in the merciless current. <laughs> This disaster has paralyzed the heart of Beijing. The very heartbeat of the city's bustling life, the subway lines, now lie dormant, lost in the silence of submerged tunnels. The heaven's fury spared no escape, as hundreds of flights at the airports were cancelled or delayed, leaving the skies eerily void of hope. Desperation and determination clashed as people donned plastic bags as makeshift shields to brave the treacherous waters. Motor scooters, once a means of liberation, now became entangled in the clutches of the muddy abyss. The survivors, driven by an indomitable spirit, clung to their belongings, hoping to salvage a fragment of what remained. Amidst the debris and despair, one could hear the resolute determination of those who refused to yield. Braving the waters, brave souls labored tirelessly to clear the streets, summoning heavy machinery to fight back against the unyielding forces of nature. 
As the sun sets on this tragic chapter, the people of Beijing stand united in their pain and resilience. The heartbreak is profound, but their spirits remain unbroken. In the face of this merciless storm, they will rise, they will rebuild, and they will endure. May their story echo across the ages, a testament to the indomitable human spirit in the face of nature's wrath. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more daily videos, goodbye.